Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 99. 99 video logs kind of makes me pause for thought. Thoughts about the people in flat earth. Thoughts about the earth being flat. Thoughts about globalists. All these different people, all these different ideas, all these different concepts. It's quite amazing. <laughs> but the people are kind of all-encompassing, talking about them will get you criticised. And what kinds of people are there out there for me at the moment? Well, they seem to, in uh, this YouTube arena, fit into a few different categories in this little small corner at least. Those categories are things like globalists. Now, globalists, if they weren't on YouTube, the normal run-of-the-mill globalists that are out there, go about their day-to-day -day lives without any real fuss. <laughs> they don't really care that much about the fact that they live on a sphere, but some of them might know a great deal about that fact. So those people generally get on with their lives okay, until they meet the other different type of person which is a flat earther. Now, a flat earther like me will shout about the fact that it's flat. Yes, yeah, it's flat, they'll say. And lots of the flat earthers do the same. Why wouldn't you? I mean, this is an absolute revelation. This is a paradigm shift beyond imagination, so why wouldn't you shout about the fact that it's flat? Wow, that's pretty mind-blowing. So yeah, when those people come in contact with the globalists, you tend to find they butt heads a little bit. There's also another kind of confused category. I mean, my wife probably sits in this category. You know, they've kind of jumbled everything up in their mind, and their mind's all kind of jumbly mess, we'll call them JLBs. <laughs> so yeah, you've got those kind of people as well who may understand the nonsense of the heliocentric system, Cavendish and all the other nonsense that goes along with it. But I don't necessarily think the earth is flat either. Now my wife might be just in the midst of cognitive dissonance or perhaps she just appreciates that it's easier to get on with life if you just say yeah it's a ball. <laughs> Who knows? Her answer has always been the same, which is, I like the ball. So, JLB's different. He knows you don't live on a spinning ball. Like, I don't think we live on a spinning ball either. That said, as it was pointed out to me today by no one's flower, you've got to be open to that possibility. And it, again, reminds me, takes me back to the very, very first hangout, which was actually on Border's channel. And I said, you know, we could all be nuts. They could send a guy up tomorrow with a Kodak camera, Joe Bob's public like you or me. Click, there you go, it's a ball. No, I doubt very much that will happen. But you've got to be open to these possibilities. So, looking back after 99 video logs, what can I say? I've got a debate coming up that's going to be epic. No idea what video log 100 will be about. But tune into the debate, it's on um, this Sunday. So yeah, is it flat with John Le Bon and Antonio Subrax? Be here or be sphere? And uh, yeah, the time that you should be here is Saturday 28th of May, USA time, 1600 hours Pacific, 1800 hours Central and 1900 hours Eastern, or Sunday 29th of May, midnight UK time, and 9, uh, 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. AEST. So as I say, be here or be sphere. I've been Nathan Oakley. I'll see you in video log number 100.